Hi, my name is Laura and today I'm going to interview Kusbu and Max about the Master in Management Finance Track at ATHL. So Kusbu is studying in the Finance Track for four months now and Max is the Responsible Program Director. Obviously, we have one question first. What makes the Master in Management Finance Track special? Max, may you answer this, please? <laughs> Sure, yeah, let me let me try to quickly summarize that. So first of all, I think it's important. It's a corporate finance program, which means we are not doing the finance stuff that may make you ending up in the basements of some big banks. But we really want to learn, let's say, on the intersection of strategy or management mm -hmm. and finance to help making better management uh, decisions. Yeah, so that's the that's the overall idea. And we do that on an academic, I would say, challenging level, but always apply it to practice. Yeah, so maybe that as a, as a starter. Okay, thank you very much. So Kushbu, after four months, would you agree? Did you experience it that way already? Or what would you explain or what would you tell our watchers? Yeah, I would say I would have like pretty amazing time till now, full of joy, learning and of course challenges. So like initially when I came here as an international student, it was pretty hard and quite challenging to adjust with the people, with the culture and everything. But now it's way easier and I, I've, I think I've blended to the culture, I would say a little bit and getting into it and coming to HHL, I would say I have grown like as a personality, I would say like HHL focus on like few programs that are not usually common to other universities, for example, like strategy, uh, uh, like I have implemented in my normal life. And I would say I can see that change in my life. And I also like talking about negotiation. I've never like uh, realized that we do negoti negotiation almost every day in our life. But yes, like it just keeps on focusing on those like those tiny small things. And this does make small change like in major change in life, I would say. So I have like made major two highlights to share here. First of all, like career support. HHL is way too amazing in career support. For example, I was having a meeting with uh, my career counselor, that is Anat, and she walked through with me with the whole resume, uh, with my cover letter, and then she made me to do some amendments. And then, of course, helping me to come up with the exhaustive list of uh, internship companies I could apply for, aligning with my interest. So I think HHL being small is a very amazing thing for me because I get customized approach and that's not the normal way. And, and the effort is really genuine, like going, doing it for every person, or every student is, is a task, I would say. And my second highlight is company events. So I would say in my initial months, I got the opportunity to visit many big banks, consulting firms, as well as the like private equity firms. So along with Max, so it was a pretty great trip where I learned a lot and networked with many people and saw the potential of being the part of one of them. So it was very, very amazing. And next, I would like to talk about the Fin Nights here in HHL. So basically, there is the opportunity where like four or five companies or some more come here at campus at the same point and with, with some like great persons within them and they talk about their company. And it's a great way to network and to know about the companies and how the companies work and their, their I think, business model, I would say we get to know. So. I think that's a great deal which we get here. So, like I already had one in four five months initially, and now again I'm mean, having it tomorrow. So it's like I'm lucky enough to attend it again. So I see the opportunity coming up for me tomorrow again. At ATHL, we focus on high quality of education. Can you please explain why um, the study style, the education style at HHL, and especially in the finance track, is so yeah close to the real job world and what makes it so special, please. Yeah, yeah let, me, let me try that. I think, first of all, what's important to understand is that we are super small. Yeah? I tend to say we are the uh, smallest university of the world. Not sure whether that is true, <laughs> but let's, let's say at least uh, if, you, if you go through the big rankings, we are definitely the, the smallest. And I think that comes with uh, certain advantages in, in teaching. Yeah? So classes are very small. If we are really talking about specialization courses in, in finance, we talk about 20 people. So that means you can 
uh, do those classes in a very, very interactive way. Yeah. So that means we are not just we are not just learning concepts, but we discuss them, we directly apply them. We obviously have time and space to do a lot of casework. And on top of that, what we strive to do is that we always um, introduce uh, also practitioners to those classes. So people from the real world, so to speak, ideally they bring their cases to the classes and discuss them with the students, challenge the students, so that students can really see how the challenge, uh, how the concepts they have mm -hmm. learned basically play out, play out in practice. And above that, maybe as the, as the last point, I think what is also important in a master study program is to give guidance on like, what are the potential pathways mm -hmm. for your career? Because there is so much out there. And obviously, like if already you told, have, yeah. yeah, exactly. And if you, if you have a small program, you can really care personally and, Uh, look into the different individuals, what are they good at, what are their interests, uh, and so on and so forth. And you can really help them also by making introductions into our yeah. amazing alumni network. Yeah, I would say I would 100% agree with what, what the points Max mentioned. Like, I'm the one who is really experiencing it right now. So, yes, like, for originally, if, we, uh, if I talk about my previous studies, there was most of the, the theoretical concepts and we used to learn. But here, the moment we learn something theoretically, we are made to apply it that the right moment in the class. So I think it's not something new when we go to a, like job or like internships, we're not experiencing something very new. So we have already gone through the pressure that that kind of works. So I think it's very relevant and it is the right way to teach, I would say, and the right blend, I would say. And of course, the, there is as being a small uh, business school, there are very pros, like many pros, I would say, like I have a personal connect with Max, I would say he guides me in every path. And if I need any guidance, I can just easily ping him up without having second thought, like whether he's a professor and not, not a big deal. So he's always a kind of support. And I would say that it's, it's not, I have to say this, it's very honest. So yeah, I'm very happy here. And Thank you very much, Kushbu, for sharing your insights so far into the finance track. Max, you maybe already know what Kushbu's career goals are in the future, but I'm interested in that to know. Would you like to share with us what's your future goal? Yeah, of course. So I have a very keen interest in corporate finance, and that is why I'm here in HHL. So my short-term goal is to end up uh, in two like good internships in the domain of valuations and M&A. &A. And I would say my long-term goal is to, first of all, is to improvise on my German and then la land up in a full-time job that's more into very, like, in investment banking, I would say, to get into a good banks uh, in, in Europe, basically. That's my goal as of now. And, of course, I want to go higher and higher with time. So. Okay. Yeah, maybe to, to comment a little bit on that also from an alumni perspective, because obviously we have now the first classes that already ran uh, through the through the finance track. So we pretty much see that people either go into investment banking, um, because that is obviously something where corporate finance and good management decisions are important, or they uh, go into consulting, strategy consulting, let's say on the broader base, but also something that is more already in the area of, of corporate finance. And last but not least, a lot of our students and then later graduates basically go into private equity, venture capital. So those are the, the usual ways, but I would say um, you are also well prepared for directly Uh, pursuing a corporate key career yeah, where you go into business development or M&A departments. Yeah? So maybe to, to just give a little bit of a, of a perspective what is kind of possible after you have studied in the finance track. Thank you very much, Max and Krispy, for sharing your insights in the MSc finance track. I think it's a great experience, especially if you want to meet like-minded people in your class and caring faculty members who give a great guidance and showing off career opportunities. Yeah, so thank you very much. Maybe some final words from you, Kushbu. Yeah, so if you have any doubt in, in terms of courses, curriculum or overall finance track for HHL, I'm here to help. Like you can connect with me on Unibody or LinkedIn or anywhere. I'm happy to help you. Okay, so maybe that's also a chance uh, for me to uh, maybe do a little bit of a last advertisement uh, slot on the finance track. Yeah, so obviously I'm also 
happy to answer questions. Yeah, connect with me uh, via LinkedIn if you if you want, or check out our website. There are always program info sessions going on. We have a cool format called Finance Case Challenge, where together with corporate partners, we organize case workshop days where you can participate. So very happy to get in touch with you. Okay. And then I would say uh, goodbye and hopefully meet you soon here in Leipzig. Yeah. See you soon. Bye. Bye.